Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. In this video, we are going to see what is the lowest value of n that allows the g orbital to exist. According to quantum mechanics, orbitals are characterized by n, l and ml values. Here, n represent principal quantum number. A set of orbitals having the same principal quantum number n are called as shells. For example, if n is equal to 1, the shell is called k shell. Each shell has subshells based on azimuthal quantum number L. For example, L shell has two subshells. Subshells are denoted by small letters. S for L is equal to 0 and P for L is equal to 1. Look at the table here. This shows that the relation between N, L and ML. If N is equal to 1, the possible value of L is 0. So that gives 1S orbital. That means the there is the relation between n and l. If n is equal to 2, there are two l values 0, 1. So for 0 for 2s orbital and 1 for 2p orbital. If n is equal to 3, then there are three possible values 0, 1, 2. So 3s, 3p and 3d. Now come to fourth one. If n is equal to 4, then 0, 1, 2, 3. So 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f. So till 4f it is here. But we want that answer for g orbital. Since uh, g orbital comes after that f orbitals. Here for n is equal to 4. Let us try for n is equal to 5. So if n is equal to 5. L is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So 0, n minus 1 means 4. So we will have like 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 for S orbital and 1 means P orbital and then 2 for D and 3 for F orbitals and 4 for G orbitals. So when N is equal to 5, there is the possibility of G orbitals to exist. Thanks for watching.